Good morning, gold seekers. JC and I are up on uh, top of the ridge, up by in between Camptonville and North Yuba Canyon, and uh, we have stopped to do a little bit of sightseeing. A sign of okay. some old hydraulic workings, and if you take a look at that, people have been digging down there. Why? Because right over here, that stuff right down there, that's bedrock. And up here, we're at probably, I don't know, maybe 4,000 4, feet or something like that, 3,800 feet at least. If you take a look here, this is the bedrock that, um, uh, that the old ancient river uh, channel got built up on. And you can see up over there that that's all hydraulic washings. That's all hydraulic workings. And you can see all the little rounded white quartz pebbles and there's got to be some gold in this stuff here jc there's, there's definitely gold there's gold in here sure would like so as i'm i'm standing here what i'm realizing is that this is the same type of uh i think it's the same type of bedrock that we have um uh, up underneath that ancient river bench at Petey's place and if you were to dig all those hard packed boulders out from the top of the river channel you're going to find something that eventually looks like this it has um, a bedrock underneath the uh, old channel grounds okay now i don't know if Whoa, you can see down to the so bottom crazy. yeah jc is over here ex exclaiming because we're up on top of what would have been the um I don't know what the correct term would be, the exit point, the the, the flume, the it's whatever. It's just a drainage ditch. Yeah, it's, it's a drainage ditch out of hydraulic workings, and it has just eroded. It, it, a, a steep, narrow gully, and by steep, I mean like 85-degree walls. Uh, we can hear the water running at the bottom of it, but it's down 150 feet, maybe 200 feet from the top here. If you fell down in there, you would die, absolutely die for sure. You're not, you're not getting back up out of, out of it under your own power at least. Actually, one of the great things about having JC uh, around in the mother load is he is not only a fantastic mining partner, but um, he makes a pretty damn good uh, a driver here for the, the rental vehicle. So let, let's hit it. I'm happy to chauffeur Tim around. Yeah, let's hit it, James. Where shall we go now? So we're, we're driving in the rental car oh, here. On, we're we're cruising that. down into the canyon of the North Yuba. And JC has assured me that, uh, that um, he's not just acting like some crazy uh, guy trying to make a raven sound. That he can make a raven sound that will fool a raven. Because when he was living out there in Camptonville, uh, he had to learn how to talk animal. <laughs> it's been a while, but let me... Uh, okay, here it comes. Here comes J JC's raven. <laughs> Not bad, actually. Yeah. Not bad. Okay, so I wish I could tell you where I am here. I can't do that because this is a super, so super secret drift mine on top of um, uh, a river or a creek or something somewhere in the motherland. But yeah, just take a look at this. See all those ancient river cobbles over there? I will walk carefully around to the other side. Not stepping in that hole that might actually go down a way. Yeah, they must have been getting gold from here because take a look how far in they dug. There's a lot of digging going on in there. A lot of ancient digging. The old timers were getting it here.